15 things you didn't know about Land Rover. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers and welcome to another exciting original video presented by Alux.com. Today we're looking at Land Rover, one of the most popular, distinctive and durable luxury brands on the automobile market. Land Rover comes from simple beginnings. The first prototypes were built to be functional, not stylish, and were designed with agricultural use in mind. Although the first models were designed in 1947, the Land Rover company wasn't established until 1978. In 1994, the company was acquired by BMW, who sold the brand to the Ford Motor Company in 2000. Ford sold both Jaguar and Land Rover to Tata Motors in 2008, and they now operate under the Jaguar Land Rover car manufacturing division. Land Rover has enjoyed incredible popularity among celebrities, world leaders, and the wealthy for much of their existence. Notable people who have owned one or more Land Rovers include Oprah, Robin Williams, Sean Connery, Tom Brady, George Clooney, Beyonce, Paul McCartney, Ralph Lauren, Jim Carrey, and we could go on and on. Their popularity shows no sign of fading as Land Rover has nearly tripled their sales from 2009 to 2016, with a record 434,582 vehicles sold globally in 2016. Land Rover's commitment to quality, innovation, luxury and class is an inspiration and since it seems like everybody who's anybody owns one, we know this brand fits perfectly with the Alux lifestyle. If you're new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. So, let's take a look at the 15 things you didn't know about Land Rover. Number 1. The British royal family has been associated with Land Rover since 1948. One of the earliest Land Rover prototypes was delivered to Buckingham Palace in 1948 and was used by King George VI in place of his horse. It was replaced in 1950 with a production model, and three other Land Rovers were delivered along with it. Ever since then, Land Rover has been a significant part of the British Royal Fleet. Jaguar Land Rover even specially built an open-topped Range Rover that the Queen used to tour the streets of Windsor as part of her 90th birthday celebration. Number 2. The Range Rover designer hated that they became luxury vehicles. Charlie King was brought over to the Rover company from Rolls-Royce in 1945, and of the first projects he took on was designing the Range Rover. He designed the car not as a luxury model, but as a utility vehicle that could tackle off-road situations and haul a load of gear with ease. He was more than irritated to see his design cross over to the luxurious side of automobiles. He wasn't shy about sharing his opinions about it either. He said using the Range Rover for a school run or even in cities and towns at all is completely stupid and expressed that he hated the fact that his car had become an acceptable alternative to Mercedes or BMW for the pompous, self-important driver. Number 3. The first Land Rovers were built with the steering wheel mounted in the center. When the first prototype for the Land Rover was built in 1947, it featured a centrally mounted steering wheel with seats on either side of it. It was meant to be a vehicle used by farmers, so the steering wheel was situated like it would be on a tractor. It also saved money for the company, because two different models didn't have to be built to suit right and left-handed driving countries. Number 4. Land Rovers have been around 30 years longer than the Land Rover company has. The first Land Rover was originally designed in 1947 by Maurice Wilkes. Wilkes was the managing director of the Rover Company, a British car manufacturing company. The first Land Rover was introduced in 1948 at the Amsterdam Motor Show. The Range Rover was introduced in 1970, and the one millionth Land Rover was produced in 1976. However, Land Rover didn't exist as a company until 1978. Number 5. Land Rover's limited edition Holland & Holland Range Rover is one of the most expensive SUVs on the market. When Land Rover decided to collaborate with elite British shotgun maker Holland & Holland, the result was bound to be something extraordinary. The limited edition 2016 Holland & Holland Range Rover carries a price tag of $244,500, and only 30 were sold in the US. One of the main features of the luxury SUV is a removable, locking leather-trimmed gun case that holds two firearms from Holland & Holland. 
It also has French walnut wood detailing, custom leather trimmed floor mats, etched door handles, branded stitching and rear seats that recline and come with tables. Number 6. Land Rover created the first monster truck. In the 1950s, the British Forestry Commission challenged automobile manufacturers to create a vehicle that could be driven over even the deepest mud puddles. Land Rover met the challenge, attaching huge tractor tires and large axles from a Studebaker to a Series 2A Land Rover. This was the birth of the monster truck. Number 7. The Range Rover was displayed in the Louvre as a work of art. The Range Rover has been catching eyes since its inception due to its unique design and distinctive lines. After the Range Rover was launched in 1970, it was put on display at the historic Louvre Museum in Paris, France as an exemplary work of industrial design. Number 8. Land Rover invented a floating version of their Defender. One of Land Rover's one-of-a-kind vehicles is the floating Land Rover 90, which was built to celebrate the brand's 40th birthday in 1989. Land Rover's Special Vehicle Operations Department borrowed some ideas from the Series 2 prototypes that were supplied to the British Army in the 60s, which were operational in water. The car's cabin was sealed with fiberglass, and then inflatable platoons were added for buoyancy along with a propeller and a rudder. The flotation devices can be removed and stored in the car when the driver wants to operate on land rather than in the water. There is a snorkel to provide air and the exhaust sticks upward out of the water. The car is still operational on land and in water today. Number 9. Land Rover created the SVX concept for a James Bond film. The 2015 James Bond film Spectra featured a few customized cars that were created specifically for the film. Among these were the Aston Martin DB10, the Jaguar CX-75, and the Land Rover SVX Concept, also known as the SVX Defender. Land Rover's Special Vehicle Operations supplied 10 customized Land Rover Defenders for the film that came with 37-inch tires, upgraded suspension, and a full roll cage. The engine was also given a boost, from 120 horsepower to 185 horsepower. Although most of the Defenders were damaged during filming, one that remains in perfect condition will be auctioned off in September 2017. Number 10. It's one of the Queen's preferred vehicles. When not riding in a limo, Queen Elizabeth usually prefers to ride or drive in one of the fleet of Range Rovers owned by the royal family, particularly her bronze green 110 Defender. She also used a Land Rover to make a political statement. When Prince Abdullah, who would later become the King of Saudi Arabia, made an official visit to the Queen's Scottish estate in 1998, Queen Elizabeth offered him a tour of the property. The prince might have been startled when she jumped in the driver's seat of one of the royal Land Rovers, since women aren't allowed to drive in Saudi Arabia. She immediately took off and sped along the winding roads of the property. Abdullah was pleading with her through his interpreter to slow down and pay attention to the road, but she didn't pay him any attention. If you would like to hear some more interesting facts related to the late King Abdullah and his family, click in the upper right-hand corner to watch our video of the 15 things you didn't know about the House of Saud. Number 11. Winston Churchill received a Series 1 Land Rover for his 80th birthday. In 1954, Winston Churchill was gifted a Series 1 Land Rover for his 80th birthday, which was modified with a heated footwell and an extra-wide passenger seat so that he could be chauffeured around his estate. The car was sold at auction in 2012 for £129,000, or around US$180,000. Number 12. The Land Rover Defender is one of the safest cars on the road. A British study that looked at injury wrecks between the years of 2000 and 2004 found that those in a Land Rover Defender only had a 1% chance of being killed or suffering a serious injury, and a 33% chance of sustaining any kind of injury in the event of a serious accident. David Spade was in a serious car wreck in January 2017, but no one was seriously injured. He credits his Range Rover for saving his life. Number 13. Land Rover has their own coffee company. In 2005, the brand branched out in a surprising direction, establishing the Land Rover Coffee Company. The coffee company states that they build upon the genuine pioneering and enduring ascent of Land Rover. 
Number 14. Bob Marley's Land Rover was restored in honor of what would have been his 70th birthday. The famous Jamaican singer Bob Marley loved his blue 1976 Series 3 Land Rover, but after his death in 1981, his car was neglected for years near his Kingston home. In 2016, to celebrate what would have been the iconic singer's 70th birthday, Sandals International Resorts, which operated Jamaica's Land Rover dealership at the time, worked to restore Marley's vehicle. It took two years to strip and rebuild from the ground up. It's now housed at the Bob Marley Museum. Number 15. Fidel Castro used a Series 1 Land Rover as his personal command vehicle during the Cuban Revolution. Fidel Castro, a leader of the Cuban Revolution and the longest-serving non-royal leader of the 20th century, was a huge fan of Land Rover. He drove a roofless Series 1 as his personal command vehicle during the Cuban Revolution, which is now housed in the Museum of the Revolution in Havana. The car is painted in battleship gray and has a number of bullet holes in it. Now that you've learned more about Land Rover, would you pick one over a different luxury brand of vehicle like Lamborghini or Ferrari? Let us know what you think in the comments. Still here? Thanks for sticking around. Here's a bonus fact just for you. Paul McCartney loved his Land Rover so much that he wrote a song named Helen Wheels, which was the nickname he had given to his car. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy, or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury enthusiasts in the world and tell your story.